and I'm excited to have you join us again for PPL 42, Land Law 2. Remember, Land Law 1, we majored on customary land tenure. Land Law 2, we are now looking at the Land Use Act and other statutes that guide land law in Nigeria. And of course, we have had some topics and I hope you have found them interesting. So today we are treating another topic that will enrich your knowledge of land law and prepare you, you know, to practice well as lawyers in this very interesting and rewarding field. So let's not waste time. Let's go on and see what we have for today. So this is our sixth lesson and in this lesson we'll be looking at leases. You should be able to define a lease, classify the types of leases, the terms of a lease, the modes of creation of leases and modes of termination of leases by the end of this class. So what is a lease? A lease is an interest in land conveyed by the rightful person entitled to use an occupation to another person in consideration of rent paid. The parties to a lease are called the lessor, who is the person granting the lease, and the lessee, who is the person to whom the lease is granted. And in this conveys con possessory interest, it doesn't con convey ownership, and usually at the end of the day, when the lease comes to an end, the lessor has a reversionary interest. So the lease comes back, the ownership comes back, or possession comes back to the lessor. There are different types of leases. You have a reversionary lease, which is a lease that is to commence at a future date. Then you have the lease of a reversion. This note, it is different from a reversionary lease. Lease of reversion is also called concurrent lease. It is the lease of a land that is already subject to an existing lease. But the interest that is granted is the reversionary interest that the lessor has. So um, the, the second lessee takes the interest, the reversionary interest of the lessor. And then you have the periodic tenancy, which is your normal tenancy from month to month or year to year or week to week and is always renewable except it is terminated or it comes to an end when the term you know, has been completed. Then you have the tenancy at will, which is where an owner of property allows someone else to live on the property at his will. So there's no formal relationship and uh, obligations are different as well. And lastly, you have the tenancy as sufferance. This is where a tenancy relationship has been brought to an end, but the former tenancy has uh, refused to deliver a possession to the landlord. So he continues in opposition and uh, in occupation of the land, but without the consent of the landlord. So to your first activity, I'd like you to mention three categories of leases. Moving on, the essential terms of a lease are as follows. First, there is, of course, the relationship of landlord and tenant, or the swan and the sea. And then there is the right of the transfer of the right of exclusive possession. So then the sea has exclusive possession, and with that comes the right to exclude, okay, third parties from the property. So there are many cases on this. If you see, for instance, the case of Mobile Oil and Johnson, there was a problem as to the term. It wasn't clear what the term of the lease was. And then if you look at um, the Ossetian Synod of Lagos and Dedeke, you know, a religious man, a vicar, was allowed to stay in the uh, quarters. However, there was no proof that he was paying rent and there was no proof that he could, he had the right of exclusive possession. So because of this, the relationship was not deemed to exist. All that is uh, essential terms are certainty of time. It must be clear when the lease begins and when it ends, right? That's what we had in Mobile Oil and Johnson. Beginning and end does not necessarily have to be a matter of date. 
it might be you know an agreed event and when it the agreed event takes place then the lease is taken to either have begun if that's what the parties agree or have come to an end the modes of creation of a lease there are two major ways you can create a lease by express grant in which case the parties will agree on all the terms of the lease and their agreement will be evidenced in writing sufficient written memorandum or there will be an act of perf part performance on the part of the lessee so where there isn't sufficient memorandum in writing but there is proof of past performance it will be taken that in this has been created by express grant what will you know qualify as part performance what will be sufficient will depend on each circumstance the circumstance of each case okay and an example of an express creation of a lease by past performance was what occurred in the case of Rollinson and Ames the mode of creation is by agreement for a lease and where a lease is created in such a way a tenant has the same rights and abilities as someone who was given a deed of lease under an express grant this mode of creation has its foundation in the case of Walsh and Lonsdale where the court held that a tenant who has been in position for up to three years more than three years under an oral agreement has in acquired the enforceable right to call for the execution of the deed in his favor this is an equitable means of creating a lease so it's not enforceable directly but it's enforceable in equity so now let's talk about the modes of determination of a lease a lease can be brought to an end that's what we mean by determination can be brought to an end by surrender to the lessor from the lessee where this option is taken it must be in the same way in which the lease was created so if the lease was created by deed surrender must be by deed and then you have another mode of um, determination which relates to timing where the term of a lease comes to an end then the lease will be deemed determined that is what you mean by determination by exclusion of time and then where a lease and the reversion are merged onto the same person then of course the lease has come to an end so for instance where the lessee buys off the interest of the lessor then there's no more lease and of course the fourth mode is where a valid notice of quit a notice to quit is served on the tenant by the landlord in that way the lease will also be deemed to have been determined so to your second activity i'd like you to distinguish between express creation of a lease and creation by an agreement for a lease okay so in this lesson we have learned the definition of a lease we have learned about the types of leases the essential terms that you must look for to determine whether the lease exists or not the modes of creation and modes of termination of a lease. You can download this video and watch it again and again to deepen your understanding. But if you have any questions, post it on the discussion forum and then we can discuss it. Until our next lesson, see you and take care.